When we started designing Material U, we all wanted to pick that perfect new set of colors. Depends on who you ask. The right palette might be vibrant or calm or high contrast or something else entirely. When it came time to pick one, of course, none of us agreed. Because color is personal. That's when we started asking, why design as if everyone sees color the same way? When we're designing new screens, we handpick tones and play with each shade, nudging the values until everything feels right. Maybe it's cheating a little. Really, designers do it all the time. It's a way to make everything come together so that it's just right for that screen. It's kind of like tailoring. But we can't ship a designer with every phone. Or can we? We start with an image that you love, the kind you choose for your home screen. From the image, one color gets picked. And from that color, four more are generated. The first color becomes the basis for a full palette of complementary and contrasting tones, 60 in total. Those can be used anywhere because the two tones that get paired together ensure accessible color and contrast, no matter what color you start from. We also had to figure out how to keep certain colors consistent. Colors a designer might apply because they're associated with specific ideas, like red to mean record, or green for answering a call. Those get a small nudge, so designers can preserve the functional values of color. So that problem of picking one perfect color? Turns out, it was the start of a new kind of challenge. A challenge to give everyone the colors they want, not just the colors our design team likes. And to do that, colors had to be designed as a set of relationships so that everyone's colors and preferences and style start to feel personally tailored. Tailored to you because it's made by you.